Contraption. <laughs> yes! Has the time finally come, General? It's been too long. What in blazes are you doing back here, Sabine? Last I heard, you were off quelling some kind of rebellion in Kenan. <laughs> oh, it's quelled. Thought I'd come rest my bones here for a while in the meantime. The watch, your idea of resting your bones? Maybe. Or maybe I just smell opportunity. So, who's this? One of your men? You got a name? Noah. See here, Noah. When you've been a merc as long as me, all it takes is one look at a man's face to know if he's long for this world. Ain't looking good, kid. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Sabine. <laughs> Forget it. Probably just the ale talking. Good men know life is precious, including their own. You be a good man, Noah. And who is that delightful lady? Sabine's an old friend. Nah, she'd laugh me out of the building for that. Let's call her an old something. As mercs go, she's long in the tooth. Probably too damn stubborn to die, honestly. Yep, I can definitely see that. Get your grimy hand away from me, scumbag! You want me to chop off your fingers and start shoving them up where the sun don't shine! Huh? Huh. That was... something. Huh? That's weird. Oh, good day to you, sir. I heard some really nasty shouting. Are you okay? Oh, heavens! Did you come to check on me? That is so incredibly sweet of you. What a kind heart you have. My name is Francesca. Might I inquire as to yours? I'm Noah, from The Watch. Well, I am just tickled to meet you, Noah. This is an auspicious encounter indeed. I don't suppose the Watch is looking for healers? I command quite potent restorative magic, if I may be so bold. That's her. That's the one I was telling you about. 
gave the broad a compliment and she flipped her lid on me. That sweet little number? <laughs> if you say so. Hey, sugar. You wanna come along with us and help clear up a little misunderstanding you had with my friend? Don't worry, Buttercup. We ain't gonna hurt you. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> what do you guys want? Stand back, Francesca. I'll handle this. Oh, Noah! We've only just met and you're willing to put yourself in danger for me? I don't know what to say. I'm sure anyone would do the same. Hmm. How I wish that were true. Since there does seem to be a misunderstanding, I believe it's best I clear it up. You're very gracious, Noah. But please, if I may? I can't let you leave with these men. Who knows what might happen? Oh, <laughs> I have some idea. You needn't worry about me. I'm a healer. Should things get heated, I have a gift for calming even the most agitated of hearts. Please, allow me to demonstrate. Don't make me go over there and break you, you gropey little pasty-faced, pigeon-licking, garbage-breath punks! Go fall off the mother-forsaken map! Yeah! Yeek! Or does your friend have a chronic case of stupidity? Cause I'm pretty sure I told you to keep your hands out of my zone, yeah? Or did I break a your widow head here with my big, big words? I'll say it again. Real slow for you and your moron friends. I do not like you. I do not ever want to see you again. And if I do, you're dead. You hear me? Dead! Now get the hell out of my sight, maggots! <laughs> Go on. So, oh, Noah, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, I'm Francesca, and I would like to offer my healing magic to your cause, if it pleases you, of course. You have a place with us. Delighted to hear that. Thank you, Noah. Greetings. I've got a number of pelts for sale today. Can I interest you? Uh... You know, I don't think we've met before. The name's Kuroto, and I'm a hunter by trade. This here crossbow's been my partner for longer than I care to remember. Together, we can snipe with more accuracy than any elf. That's quite a claim. Wait, I smell it now. You're trying to achieve something great, aren't you? Uh... I've been at this for a long time, and it's given me a keen sense of smell. There's not much that gets past me. The truth is, I'm seeking new companions to fight in my side. 
Of course you are. And here's the part where you tried to win me over, right? Another tried before, years ago. But if you're thinking to impress me with a show of prowess, think again. There's not a man or woman alive who can match me with a crossbow. Let's say I wanted to impress you anyway. Hmm. If you're that determined, you must have a good reason. How's this? Hunt me three wild boars. You'll find some in Redthroat Ridge to the east. Just hate resorting to violence. What you get? You finished your hunt already? Oh, and you've done exactly as I asked. Wild boars are ferocious creatures. It takes a tough hunter to bring down even one. So does that mean? Let's you and me have a little talk first. I adore the children of this town. I enjoy watching them grow up, in an almost fatherly sort of way, I suppose. Day by day, inch by inch, they live, learn and grow. Just like how a seed sprouts, before one day it finally flowers. But I can smell it. Change. And not for the better. Uh. The wind carries the scent here from afar. I'd hoped that I was reading it wrong, but since we first spoke, I feel it with a certainty. Whatever threat is out there is going to come here. It will steal these children's chance to blossom. So I've decided to join you, and that is my reason why. We're happy to have you. You may? Where are you? Yume! Who's Yume? Oh, are you travelers? Yume is my granddaughter. Did you see her along the road? 
she's six years old and wears her hair in a bun. I haven't seen her, I'm sorry. Why, is something wrong? She said she was going to the mountains to play with some new friend of hers. But then I heard there were sightings of some kind of big, hairy monster. I'm worried sick. If I weren't so old and frail, I'd go find her myself. I wish someone would check on her and make sure she's okay. Well, she can't have gone far. She's either at the mountain pass to the west or Redthroat Ridge to the east. Don't worry, I'll find her. Really? Oh, thank you, young man. Thank you. Leave her alone. Um, who are you, Mister? I'm Noah, and you must be Yume. Your grandma is looking for you. Oh, she's such a worry ward. I told her me and friend had some special training to do. Special training? But where's your fr... It's really important! You never know when a big monster will attack the town, and I have to be ready to help! It was his idea, but I think it's a pretty clever one. Okay, I'm glad you brought him up, because, um... What is he? Yume's bestest buddy in the whole wide world! Oh, so you're protecting her. I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Friend says he likes you. <laughs> Do you want to be friends with us, too? Yeah, of course. Yippee! I just knew you would! Since we're friends, I might have fibbed a little. I actually want to leave home so I can go look for my mother. You're a traveler, aren't ya? Uh... I promise I'll do whatever I'm told, and I'll stay out of trouble, and I'll eat all my vegetables, and, and I won't wander away from friend. Just please, please, please take me with you. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the ranks. Oh, thank you, Noah! Thank you so, so much! <laughs> me 
me and friend better go tell grandma that we're gonna look for mom. <laughs> Wait, you're you're bringing him to town? Yume told me everything. I'm worried sick that she'll get hurt, but I suppose if she has her big friend and she has you, just promise you'll look after her. You back for a while, Gar? Emir's whinging again about how no one's ever around to help. What about you? He's sending me on recon up north. Says I work best unencumbered. North? How north? The Imp's border? I've got a bad feeling, Gar. Real bad. If you value your life, run while you can. Can't believe they're sending Sabine on recon. They really expect things to get that rough? Extra personnel to intercept here, here, and here. And we'll need surplus provisions. I really hope this is all just in her head. Emir. Hmm? Oh, how grand of you to show up. And where exactly have you wastrels been frittering away your time while I toil day and night? We've been working our butts off, buddy! I have orders for you, Gar. Not me. Noah here is acting captain for now. Ah, yes. Apologies, oh great captain. Um, just Noah is fine. You expect me to bother with names? When so many of the Watch come and go as they please, without so much as a courtesy notification to yours truly. Yes, well, your orders then. West of Altusweiss is a village called Altfredin. They've complained of bandits in the area. You are to investigate, and if possible, put the bandits to rout. I consider yours the best team for this mission. Good luck, don't die, etc. We'll leave at once. What's this? Compliance? How refreshing. Just see it's done quickly if you'd be so kind. Why are you being so nice to him? As if there's something wrong with being nice? Yes! It's bandit hunting time! Um, where are we going again? West, the village of Alphadin. We can do this! Action pose! Ah, you must be from the Watch. Very kind of you to arrive so quickly. Let me assemble the villagers. My name is Noah. I'm acting captain of this company. 
I hear you've got a bandit problem? Yes, that's right. Bless her ladyship for looking out for us. They've been raiding Alphadin and the neighboring villages, breaking our hunting traps, too. I was accosted on the way to market. They tore up my fields. I heard a merchant was attacked the next village over. Okay, so what do they look like? There were three of them. The one in charge had a beard. The fellow I saw was some creep in a hood. Someone told me the culprit was wearing pink and long sleeves. A trio of bearded men with pink hoods? That's some profile. Maybe you could give us some idea of where they're holed up. I heard they retreated west, but there's nothing out that way. Or perhaps there is. What do you mean? Southwest of here, this would have been ages ago, we once found the entrance to what we assumed was an old mine. And we sealed the place up after some of the kids wandered in by mistake, but it's possible someone could have found it and opened it up again. On the one hand, it's our only lead. On the other hand, meh. Might as well see what we find. Which is potentially nothing. If so, we can scratch one possibility off the list, right? I guess. So how do we find this mine? We have to subtle marker near the entrance. I'll tell you what to look for. Okay, we'll check it out. Thank you, brave members of the Watch. This is the place the Elder mentioned. Now we just gotta find that marker. Huh. What is that over there? What a day, General! What a find! Wildfowl? We should make a stew! <laughs> Once again, fortune smiles upon the mighty Kogan! You're amazing, General. I'll follow you till the end of days, and then some! <laughs> All he did was take the fowl from the trap! <laughs> now we return to our castle triumphant! Those are clearly the bandits we're looking for. Uh, okay. But are you sure? 
I mean, they do look suspicious, but we shouldn't jump to conclusions and stuff, right? Maybe let's tail them and see what happens. You think we can move this minecart? Hey, good thinking, kiddo! You do it! Huh, that's one impressive elevator. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Huh? Well, this is totally the right answer. I, I can feel it starting to give. Maybe we need to put something heavier on the switch. rusted or something could be let's press on light we must be near an exit where does this thing even go wonder what's going on out there Fortress, if I had to guess. Halt! Who dares trespass upon the sacred grounds of mighty General Kogan's castle? Sorry, who are you? What? I asked you first! Yeah, who are you? I'm Noah of the Watch. <laughs> the Watch? Well, that doesn't sound good. Whatever. You don't control us. Pretty soon, General Kogan's gonna declare himself ruler of this whole land, and you can't do squat about it! Uh, Euthus, maybe ease back on the whole... We're the General's faithful army, and if you brigands want the castle, you'll have to take us on first! Or you can come quietly. And we can just talk this thing out. Oh, I'm not scared of you! If you're the watch, then you can watch me crush you! <laughs> oh, we're gonna die! Get ready for trouble! Someone needs to teach him some manners. I don't know who you high and mighties think you are, but you're about to get an iron ball bashing! I will let you lay a finger on the general, or on my pal Sappy! <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll heal you. <sighs> Thanks. Uh, what? Ah, my... What? Stay back. You did not uh, uh, me. You can count on me. Let me heal you. <laughs> Better than I gave him credit for. Who do we target first?
Sabby, I tried to hold them off. Pesky flies. That's it. I'm using the contraption. <laughs> yes! Has the time finally come, General? You fools flatter than a grandma's backside. Yeah, this is your last chance to run, unless you want to be pancakes. What the? How is that fair? It's some kind of cream. That can't be good. Our secret weapon against us. Oh, who spilled the beans about the lever? Okay, I'll heal you. Gotcha! Bam! Magical 
useful. Thank you. 
right. Let Let's see you can face! Bastards. 
Why are you making this so hard? Are you the ones who've been making trouble around Alfredton Village or not? We had no choice. If we didn't steal the vegetables and loot the traps, how could we feed them? We'll save you, General Kogan. Leave the general alone. Okay, uh, what? <sighs> well, this complicates things, but it doesn't explain why you attacked the merchant. We didn't! The General would never do such a thing! The villagers of Altford Inn say you did. It must be someone else! <sighs> a few months ago, we were living by the Imperial border. Then, a bunch of scoundrels attacked and put us to heel. So we took refuge here. <clears throat> Come to think of it, these guys aren't wearing pink. Plus, I don't see hoods. Hoods? Those are the guys who chased us off! General Kogan hates hoods! <laughs> But the man who attacked us wore one. Great. We bagged the wrong bandits. I mean, they shouldn't be stealing, but if they got mouths to feed... Do whatever you will with me. But please, spare the others. General, no! Take me instead! Or me! Splendid. I sent you to solve one of my problems, and instead, you've multiplied them. But they were driven from their village. General Kogan was only stealing vegetables to help his people. Can't we share some of our provisions to help him and the refugees? Of all the meddling... Oh, her ladyship is going to scold my ear off for this. First of all, this Kogan, general or not, is going straight into a holding cell for the time being. Her ladyship is that gal we met in Aronside Village, right? Is she really that scary? No, but she has a soft spot for stories like theirs. If I cause so much as a single tear, she'll berate me as a cold-hearted cad. So very well. You win. I'll have a rescue team sent to the ruins. Meanwhile, the General will have to answer for his crimes against vegetables. Understood? Thanks, Ymir. Sorry for the trouble. See, but I know you're not. Oh, um... Noah, my friend, my cousin! Huh? I don't know how to repay you for looking after my people. Thank you, cousin. Thank you, thank you! Okay, take it easy there, champ. Noah's just doing what he always does. 
And thank you, Cousin Leon. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're just happy to help. <laughs>